Well, Chandler Parsons, how many year NBA vet? That would be nine. Nine years, nine years, $1,000 later. Here we are drinking our mint juleps. Cheers to you. Welcome to the Kentucky Derby. I need all of your thoughts right now. I, uh, as I walk through for the first time, I'm a little bit blown away, but I'm from Florida. I've always heard about the Derby. So I'm excited to be here and have some fun today. What, is, what exactly is blowing you away? Uh, mostly the outfits. <laughs> the outfits are pretty shocking. Uh, the hats are pretty cool. I like the, my man had the shorts with the suit. Okay, smart. Nike it's runners. It's humid out here. Cozy shoes. I like it, yeah. Uh, it'll be a lot of fun. I know you've got lots of people in town. Tell me who's here. I can say this. I know for a fact Tom Brady will not be here, which is going to be sad. He always comes to the Derby. He's got the roast on Netflix tomorrow. He will not be oh, here. Yeah. Who's coming? Who's rolling into town that you know? Uh, a couple of friends are coming. My buddy Jasmine's coming, who runs all the nightlife in Las Vegas. So, <laughs> love, you know. Yeah, love that. There will not be a lot of sleep. Uh, Travis Kelsey gets in Ooh. today. So that'll be fun. Okay. Uh, chain smokers are performing tonight. Sounds amazing. So yeah, we got a we got a hell of a weekend on our hands. Sounds like are we pacing ourselves? Like what are, what's the vibe well, for today? I mean, for a thousand dollars, we got a. It's a good start. It's a this good is start. This $1,000 mint julep. It tastes pretty good. We're going to get into some other stuff with Bobby Flay. He's going to make us something with Pims, which I don't really understand because Pims is like a British drink. Yeah, well, I don't know what Pims are, so I'm already, I'm already losing. You're doing the thing. Yeah. Um, what do you make? What, what is the, the one thing that you heard growing up in Florida or that the Kentucky Derby is all about that you have to get into? Well, gambling. And I heard uh, gambling and uh, picking a horse. I yes. like the whole paddock thing that they build here where you can watch them warm up and really, really pick... <laughs> Pick, pick your horse. So I'm just excited. I heard it's a big party, which obviously it looks like you know, all this food, all these different tents. Yeah. Uh, it's awesome. You lost miserably in trivia, hence the $1,000 mint julep. But I was in the car with you on the way here, and I got to tell everybody, Chandler is spitting out facts. He was like, Sierra Leone, fierceness, micro pulley. <laughs> like, you have your shit together right now. I'm so excited. But I do want to introduce you to some horses. My producers thought maybe, and, and, and listen, we don't know the horses. You don't know the horses. We're going to fill you in as we go along. We're going to talk derby to you. And this first horse, my producers thought, might be someone for you to root for. Society man, OK? Society. First of all, the name, a man about time, a What's town, that? a man about a good time. I know you like a big payday. This horse is sitting at 50 to 1 odd, Ooh. OK? He hasn't competed against other derby horses yet, so they're counting him out. Are you in on society? Man? Love, I mean, I love those odds. Why not? Low risk, high reward. I don't know. What does Frankie for the win mean? Frankie. What does that win? Yeah. What does Frankie for the win mean? I don't Is know what that, that means. They get like a slogan with the name? <laughs> I literally you know, don't we're know. Clueless. They got the two most clueless horse people <laughs> of all time here. But you know what? I'm, I might dabble into society, man. All right. Who do you like? Do you like Sierra Leone? That's the best name of the lot for uh, sure. The, so I have a friend. Of a friend that's a big horse. Everybody gambler. has yeah, a friend. Everyone's got a guy. And I Is like. Is his name uh, Gianni? Does he like uh, meet people in parking lots? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Boise Cash. His Go uncle ahead. has an Italian joint across the street. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I like Sierra. By Sierra. the pony? Yeah, here exactly. in by the pink pony. Pink pony will not be racing today. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine if you saw pink why pony? Why do I always, there? why does it always come back to strip clubs on this program? I don't know. Go oh. ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, so since Pink Pony's not racing, I'm going to go with uh, Sierra Leone. I think that's what all the all the buzz okay. is around that horse. That's what my friend that I trust. And then now I'm all over society, man, because you just put that thought in my head. Well, we had Sierra Leone's yeah. jockey on our show, Tyler Gaffaleone. Yeah. I, I, like, yeah. I, I like the synergy. He was talking about the horse like it was his true love. Like, this is the vibe where they feel the energy. Sierra Leone's a, a good bet there. That society uh, man, though, 50 to 1 odds. We don't know anything about horse racing, so I'm going to put us both to, is it both to the test or just Chandler? Oh, great. Just Chandler, great, my favorite. Uh, Bobby Flay on the show, Warren Moon on the program, Jameis Winston is going to be here. We're trying to pull other people uh, onto the show as well, and at some point, I think we're just going to strap a GoPro to Chandler's head yeah. and let him out into the crowd loose Please. to see what's going on. let me loose. Put yeah. me in the game. <laughs> I need out there. Okay, here's the game right now. We're going to play Ride and Derby. Oh, God. What is it called? Ride and Derby. Okay. Like ride and derby. Like, sure. Yeah. I'll draw a horse. It all goes back to the pony. Okay, I'll draw a horse uh, term out of a hat, a word or phrase that you might hear at some point during Kentucky Oaks Day or Derby Day tomorrow. And you do our bet you do your best to use it in a sentence, and then you can draw a word for me to you. So I am participating. Okay. I don't know. Well, I'm just doing what I'm told. Right down here. So you pick this out of here. One out of there, and what does it say? And then you have to use it in a Chandler has to use it in a sentence. Okay. So, hot walker. A person who walks the oh. horse until, oh. Is he reading Wait. the definition? Why is the definition on there? 
Why don't you get in here and tell us what to do? Uh, like, when you're letting these two idiots drink, drink bourbon all yeah. morning, figure this out. Oh, okay, so tell me, what's oh, the word? A hot walker. A hot walker. A hot walker is someone who was here yesterday in the blistering 110 degrees, and they are so sweaty and hot that they looked like Mike Rapoli and Richard Isaka by the Barnes yesterday interviewing Fierceness. I see a hot walker uh, right there. It says the Mexican Elvis right there. <laughs> that is a hot walker. Why don't, why don't you scream him, scream him out? Mexican, Mexican Elvis! Mexican Elvis! Mexican Elvis! Yes! We Me see you. Come over here. There you go. Come, is, up, here. Is, Come the, up here. That is the definition of a hot walker. Are we gonna get him up here? Oh, there he is! Oh my God! Wow, we've got we've got uh, eyes and ears everywhere. Yeah, what that. is a hot walker actually? So a hot walker is a person who walks a horse until it is cooled off after its morning workout. Uh, that sounds like a great job. Is he coming up here. Oh, oh Mexican Elvis is coming in hot. Okay, and here he is, Chandler, our roving reporter. Go talk to him. See what you know. See what his deal He's is. Coming. I guess I don't know. <laughs> And no. Yeah, let's give him the chair for God's sake. Mexican sakes. Elvis. All right, I'm coming to him. He's coming to him, yeah. Get on up here, Mexican Elvis. Look at the shoes. Look, he's got to go Woo! sideways. Everybody How give it doing? up. Chandler, what we got here? Look at this outfit. Right here. Start with the shoes. What we got on the feet? Okay, the shoes. Uh, that means watch out, you know, you see the watches, right? I, I see the watches. Uh -huh. And they have a little point in the, you know, the, the unicorn, so That's be careful. Be careful with those. This is fantastic. And then on the back, you got the tat, you got this going on. That is something. Are you not hot as hell in that thing? No, not, not yet, but I've been used to be. Uh, not right now, because I've been used to do this, uh, you know, for a while. Uh, I was here last year, and I barely enjoy the atmosphere in here. And thanks, everybody, for... Uh, uh, you know, taking uh, time with me because I wasn't expecting this. Yeah. La last year, they like what I was doing. I said, you know what? I'm going to make it again, and I yeah. did. Yeah, I drive all the way from Denver, Colorado, and wow. I want to say hi to everybody from Denver, Colorado, oh, and I, I want to see you in here, too. Come over. It's nice over here. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming, man. You look awesome. Best outfit I've seen. Thank you. Bye. Okay, now I'm going to pick one out of this hat as we continue. Uh, Eric, it. excellent work for you. Eric, you're running your ass off today. You're getting straws for Chandler. You're doing your thing. I'm watching you, Mumford he and Sons. You had to come up the stairs yeah. sideways. I don't think, are we still on the air or is this down? Okay. Okay, break maiden. What is a, use break maiden in a sentence. Break maiden in a sentence? Can we pull one more? That one is <laughs> tricky. Um, We're going to skip it, but it's horse or rider yeah. winning the first race of his career. I get it. Like oh, okay. A, like, a, like, a, like a virgin. Virginity. Sure. <laughs> I'll do another one. Hold I'll on. take another one. Um, anybody have Mexican uh, Elvis on the bingo card for today? Yeah. Okay, goes, how about this one? Thank you so much. I wasn't expected to come up here. How about b bug boy? Bug What's a boy. bug boy? Okay, so a bug boy is the boy that comes around after the horse's workouts to clean off all the bugs out of its eyes. Out of its eyes? Yeah. That's, that's so <laughs> weird. It's an apprentice. It's not bad. A apprentice jockey, your jockey yet, or a jockey in his first years of riding races. There we go. Like a baby, a junior. There a we rookster, go. A I like it. All right, do one more. Can we just keep drinking? Because this is going to be a long day, I already feel. When the sweat's coming. Why we don't have a table, I don't know. Here I am. Shadow roll. Shadow roll? Like yeah. roll as in like roll, roll dice? Yeah. A shadow roll is... I'll tell you this, a hint is it's usually sheepskin. <laughs> That's not a joke. That is on the bingo card. A sheepskin shadow roll. Uh, um, do you skip? Do you want to skip? I, no, I don't. I think, I'm thinking it's in the race. The horse, the stallion has a shadow, and they use it like an F1. There's some sort of G1 force that lets it past the person Kinda. in the shadow. What is it? It's basically rolled over the bridge of a horse's nose to keep it from seeing shadows on the track. I don't, even, I don't even know what you're saying anymore. Yeah, it's pretty good. Do one more, and then could we go to break? Please. 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 <laughs> please, please, please. They called they call no. I think they're all hard. Bull ring. Bull. <laughs> okay. Uh, a bull ring is when... The horse wins and you pierce its genitalia. <laughs> it's called a bull ring. 
<laughs> That's what that is, Kay. Next our, question, our please. Our CEO, Amy, is watching this with, <laughs> her, lovely, that, with her lovely yeah. family. Lovely, lovely lady. Bullring, a small racetrack that's less than one mile in oh, circumference. Oh, I was way off. <laughs>